Alright. Let's get out of my car right here. We uh, are walking over to the mailbox right now. Because I should have a package in here. And uh, we're going to do a little unboxing. Walk in the mailbox. Boom. Check it, guys. Amazon package. Uh, we got some other mail in here. Uh, probably not going to show that on camera, but we'll also grab that as well. Alright. Let's get back in the car. Let's go unbox this. Alright. Made it back to the house. And I actually have uh, two packages for you guys to uh, unbox right here. This is actually all ice fishing gear. And uh, the reason why is because as of probably two years ago, I barely have any ice fishing gear. I just have an auger, a few ice rods that I actually made myself. So I don't have much ice fishing gear. So I figured I'd go on Amazon and uh, snoop around, see what I could find for the cheapest I could get. And uh, you're about to see what I got. So first thing, we're going to show you what's inside this package right here. So I got my fancy knife right here. I'm going to use it as a, a letter opener. I'm just going to go ahead and... That's like a hot knife through butter. And uh, first off, we got an assortment of ice fishing tackle. And the reason why... Actually, this is a lot smaller than I uh, anticipated. The reason why I got this stuff right here, this is by uh, Quali Quali, I believe it's called. And it's uh, an assortment of... Uh, Rapala jig and wraps looks like or style baits and then it's got a bunch of different ice fishing jigs tungsten jigs uh, The reason why I picked something like this up is I absolutely have no more ice fishing gear like lure wise or jig wise So I figured I might as well pick some up right there and uh, we'll go ahead and actually open this up And uh, take a look at some of the hook quality and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Pretty uh standard box right here uh, Go ahead and open it up. Let's see what we got Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, one thing I was not expecting was the hooks to be this sharp. The hooks are actually really, really sharp, and I'm very, very surprised, because usually when you buy something cheap off of Amazon, you guys know, <laughs> especially a terminal tackle or stuff like that that you buy off Amazon a lot of times, it, uh, you aren't really getting what you pay for, but this is very, very sharp hook quality. I'm very, very pleased with this, and as you can see, this is uh, basically just like a Rapala Jig and Wrap. Looks just like it. Uh, so it's kind of a knockoff, but uh, we got some of those, and uh, we got another one right here in a little bit smaller uh, size right here, a little bit different pattern. One thing I'm noticing about these baits is that these are actually pretty heavy. I'm actually really, really surprised um, on the weight of these guys. I'm going to go ahead and look at uh, the jig um, quality real quick of uh, the tungsten jigs. Go ahead and pull a tungsten jig out, test the uh, quality of these hooks right here. And uh, like I said... Uh, pretty standardized tungsten jig. Um, I don't see any problem with them. Uh, they're actually pretty heavy, which I really, really like. These are going to be great for tipping with uh, night crawlers, wax worms, uh, centipedes, whatever, um, and catch all those uh, fish through the ice. By the way, if you guys want to buy any of this gear, uh, I will have a link down below where you can, uh, they're Amazon links, they're not affiliate or anything like that, but you can click them and you can buy this stuff down below. That's it for that package. Let's, uh, Move into the next Amazon package right here. So, next thing I bought was I knew for a fact that I've been ice fishing before in extremely cold weather, and it really, really sucks if you don't have any ear, ear protection or head protection. So, I went ahead and picked up a uh, Mossy Oak uh, Hunter's Orange um, cap right here. This is going to help me out with the uh, cold wind and stuff like that. And it's actually pretty thick, too. I actually really am impressed by that. And uh, Mossy Elk, pretty uh, trusty brand. And this way, when I'm uh, out on the ice, and it starts to get windy or something like that, put this on, protect my ears uh, from potentially getting an ear infection. All right, so the uh, last thing I have is I just have uh, one more thing in this package. And this is more of a safety item because I realize that my life is pretty important out on the ice. And uh, I've fallen through ice before as a kid once in a creek. And it wasn't very much fun. I got freezing cold. And uh, it was actually kind of a struggle getting out. I was able to get out. But uh, I realized after that, and I really never even fished with this item, but I figured I might as well pick up a pair, and that, of course, is ice picks. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with these, basically they allow you to crawl out of the ice 
uh, if need be, if you fall in. And this is literally the cheapest ones you can get. They're not for Bill or anything. They're actually Eagle Claw, which are the cheapest brand of uh, ice picks or any type of gear you can probably get. And I think I paid like, I think seven fifty, eight bucks for these. Pretty standard pair of ice picks. Looks like pretty sharp. And uh, they actually lock as well, so I'm able to wear them around my neck when I'm ice fishing. And if I were to fall in, if need be, you could pop these out and uh, crawl out of the ice, potentially. So that's it for all the items. Um, I do want to talk to you guys really quick about some safety tips and safety habits that you could do when you're out on the ice. And I also want to talk to you guys what to do if you fall into the ice. Number one, safety habits. Always bring a life jacket. Always tell somebody where you're going if you're going ice fishing. Always bring safety picks. So now we're going to talk about what to do if you fall through the ice. Number one, guys, and this is actually a big mistake that I made when I was 10 years old when I fell through thin ice. Stay calm. If you can save your energy, chances are you're going to be able to conserve that energy to be able to get out of the ice. And that also goes with do not panic. If you panic, you're going to release energy faster. You need to save that energy. Number two, face the direction where you came from before you fell into the ice because chances are that's going to be the strongest ice. Number three, focus all your thought and your brain about getting out of the ice, which means if you have your ice picks around your neck, you can then pull off your ice picks and you could keep them around your neck and you could force yourself out of the ice with the picks because let's be honest, I know this from experience, it is very, very hard to get out of the ice if you do not have anything to crawl out of right here. And I actually cannot believe I didn't buy these sooner, given the price. But uh, And then after that, get out of the ice. You actually want to roll on the ice. Don't stand up because you could fall right back through. You want to roll to distribute your weight evenly. Get up about 20 feet out away from the hole. Then you can stand up on your feet and get to safety. Always take off all your wet clothes because hypothermia can set in within 15 minutes. So what you want to do is you want to take off all your wet clothes. And you want to get somewhere warm immediately. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more of this style of video, do not forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay on the barb. I will catch you guys again on the next video. I'll catch you guys next time.